Well, we want to look ahead here because next week at the American Association for Cancer Research annual meeting, we are getting some numbers a lot of people have been waiting for. Uh, getting a look at breast cancer vaccine and how effective it is. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins talked to one of the trial participants about why she decided to become a medical pioneer here. At age 41, Jennifer Davis learned she had a very dangerous type of breast cancer, triple negative, the kind that few treatments work against. The married mother of three and nurse went through chemo, a double mastectomy, and radiation, but she knew she was still at risk. Every time I woke up and, you know, I slept on my arm wrong, I automatically thought, it came back. In the fall of 2021, she learned she qualified for an experimental vaccine targeting her type of breast cancer. She would be among the first humans to try the vaccine. She asked if any of the lab animals reacted badly to the shot. The answer was the same as her second question. I asked how many had a recurrence and the answer was zero. And I don't think that you really ever see that in research, ever. <laughs> Jennifer is one of 13 patients who've received the vaccine. Next week, she's heading to Orlando to hear preliminary findings of how the research is going. It matters, not only for her, but for her kids. All three kids will start getting tested 10 years prior to my onset. So it's the, at the age of 31, they will all, you know, be screened and closely followed. Three shots, two weeks apart, 18 months ago, and her cancer is still in remission. She hopes it's the same for others. And the possibilities that 12 to 15 to 20 percent of triple negative could just not be anymore would just be amazing. Anixa Biosciences and Cleveland Clinic will present their findings on Tuesday. The current trial is still recruiting, including patients who underwent prophylactic mastectomy because of their risk for triple negative breast cancer. While it accounts for just 15 percent of breast cancer cases, the risk of death, Christy, is much higher for this type. All right. Monica Robbins, uh, great news as we'll wait and see what they say. Thank you so much.